So we'll bring you more updates on that story in our subsequent bulletins. But to some good news this morning, and for pupils of Biposo Kindergarten, a new block will see enrollment increase. And so when the assembly started a new KG block, they were excited. Brighton and Alpha reports some six months after missions report, the new KG block is completed and ready to be handed over. KG kids studied in this. The school had no room for them. Teachers complained of heat and this made the kids uncomfortable. They therefore struggled to concentrate. The district assembly acted as in Roman figures show pupils were being taken away from the school. It took four months for the structure to be completed. It was indeed a difficult situation for pupils of Biposo Kindergarten. They studied in this uncomfortable structure. There was congestion and there was heat in the classrooms. Teachers simply did not find work comfortable. But with the completion of this new one, it is expected that there will be improvement in teaching and learning. The structure comes with sanitary facilities. I, I remember when you came, we did mention, uh, made mention of that. And uh, as you can see, the engineers came in and we explained to them. So they decided to extend the initial structure mm. to put in the toilet facility. And they have actually done that. Mm. An excited head teacher said the old structure was simply a disincentive. We should be the most excited staff on, in this uh, district. Well, when you look at this structure, I say... The first of its kind in the district and uh, we are very happy because uh, we, we are going to be very relieved because of the conditions that we were facing in the old structure and so we are looking forward to the assembly handing over to the school eventually so that we can move in quickly and make use of that facility. He said the school is eager to move in after many years of neglect. The Central Central District Assembly says education is a priority and resources will be pumped in to ensure Every child gets the opportunity to be educated. Bright Nananfo, TV3. Television indeed gets results. To some more stories this morning, and the Member of Parliament for Quabra East in the Shanti region is pushing for infrastructure development in low graded senior high schools. Francisco Tinmensa laments this is affecting academic performance of these schools. Here's a report by Beatrice Spiogabra. The criteria for grading schools include the academic performance. High-graded schools are often endowed with improved facilities to the envy of low-grade schools. The Quabra East Municipality has six senior high schools, all at grade D levels. The Member of Parliament for the area, Francisco Ting Mensa, is advocating for more infrastructural development to help improve on academic performance of schools. Throughout the tour, in the various senior high schools, we had teachers complaining about the grading system of school. Unfortunately, almost all the schools here are either in grade C or D, which I think is not the best. That is why I think it will be necessary for us to do some little work to improve at least one or two of these schools to either B or A. The MP has been on an educational tour of all the six senior high schools in Aquabre East constituency to better appreciate concerns for possible redress. Some of the schools are in a very bad state that needs urgent support from the government. Uh, some of them probably will need urgent support from the municipal. We took their concerns and we'll forward it to the appropriate authority as soon as we can and try and then push that. Headmaster of Antwas SHS, Joseph Kwekua Samoa, appealed for the construction of a dining hall and more classroom blocks to accommodate the teeming students' population. Anytime it rains, we have a problem of even conveying the food from the kitchen to where the students eat. That is the incomplete said assembly hall. And that is a big challenge to us. Another challenge is classroom facilities. Though the buildings are there, many of them have not been plastered and they don't have doors and luba blades. And in fact, we know that a very good environment celebrates learning. He also wants government to factor the free supply of elective textbooks in addition to the core textbooks to facilitate teaching and learning. 
A former district chief executive for Not Die, Stephen Komla Timeka, has described as false allegations that he took away contract documents on the Vetima Fuega road project. Now, he claimed the contractor working on the road abandoned it because he was not paid preliminary work done. The construction of the about 40 kilometer Aveti, Wademahe and Fuega Road commenced early 2017 after being awarded in late 2016. It was aimed at reducing traveling hours and provide comfort to commuters in catchment areas. But the road had been abandoned after the contractor handling the project constructed some drains and culverts. The neglect of the project has raised eyebrow between the North Dai District Assembly and the locals. Traders and commuters cutting their farm produce from Denui to market centers for sale go through discomforting times. When they are ready to go to market, these are the problems that they face. At times, they, they, they cannot even get to the market due to the poor nature of the road. Most vehicles have abandoned the stretch because of the constant deterioration of the Coco Road. Motorized tricycles are the available option, but this is also not without challenges. <laughs> The poor nature of the road has been a problem. See, at times when it rains, they will not be able to uh, convey market women from their various places to the, to the market. This is what they do for a living, but because of the, the, the road, the way things happen, most of them have to stop their business and, 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 and stay back in the house. District Chief Executive for North Dai, Kujo Ata, said, contract document of the road disappeared from the office at the time his predecessor, Stephen Komlati Minka was leaving office. Till date, I've not seen the contract document of that project. The General Assembly decided on its wisdom to consult my predecessor, Honorable Timinka, so that we could know the whereabouts of these particular road projects. He admitted outside the house to a member that he has the document. And the people have seen the document in his car. Till now, he will not release the document to us. The truth of the matter is that somebody is hiding something. But the former DC, Stephen Komlati Minka, has denied all the allegations, setting the record straight. There was no occasion that he has consulted me on Aveti and Fuega Road. And he has never written any letter to me. As I'm speaking now, I have not received any letter from the assembly. He said construction works halted because the contractor was not being paid. As I doubt, they have not even paid the uh, contractor, the person, for work done. All the drains that he has done, nobody has paid him. So what is he talking about? He said uh, the deal is uh, fishy or something of that sort. What fishy is about this contract? Has he gone to Coco uh, Road? Feeder roads are consultants to the road. So if he doesn't know the work, he should get closer to us to at least take him through the rudiments of the job. According to him, he succeeded in initiating some social intervention projects, including the construction of 32 school blocks, 17 health centers, and the North Dai District Assembly. Stanley Niblu, TV3 News.